All right, for today's video review, we're gonna be taking a look at Transformers Beast Machines Basic Class Mirage, another Viacon from the Beast Machines toy line. Now, uh, right off the bat, I do wanna say mine is missing a few parts. I've, I've just had this since I was a kid and you know, stuff gets lost. Uh, he is supposed to have a little gun that clips onto this section right here that points uh, forward in, in this vehicle mode and then kind of flips back onto his head in, uh, in robot mode. And I am missing the missiles that plug into the little like spoiler section here they were just kind of like push fire uh missiles but other than that he's uh he's pretty much complete but yeah no he turns into a nice little uh cybertronian formula one uh race car here or at least that style of uh of car and it's a pretty nice little vehicle mode i do like how the sort of like missile uh you know section here becomes kind of like a spoiler i think that's neat uh, i also like how just with the shape of the back of his head it kind of becomes a little like cockpit section here which you know Granted, doesn't make as much sense on a Cybertronian vehicle. He's definitely one of those vehicons that, like, I, compared to the rest of the vehicons, he feels a little bit too Earth-inspired to me, like a little bit too close to just like a regular Formula One race car. Like, it's got alien elements, but it's kind of doing the same thing as like that a lot of the Siege toys did, where it's just like, we call it alien because it's just a little weird looking, but it's like mostly similar to a regular version of that vehicle. Um, but yeah, no, I, either way, I like the vehicle mode. It, uh, it rolls pretty well. It's got these wheels are kind of concealed here, but he does have back wheels, obviously. Uh, I I like how these little details that will end up on the back of his elbows honestly just become like these little uh, thrusters in vehicle mode i think that's pretty cool uh in terms of comparisons in this mode uh for the standard one here he is with kingdom sideswipe just so you can see what he looks like with an average size deluxe uh, for another Mirage, even though it's not really the same character, uh, here he is with uh, with Classics Mirage. That's the you know the version of G One Mirage that I have. But you know they're they're not the same character, but they turn into the same thing and have the same name. So <laughs> that's what they look like together. Um, and then here he is with the other two Viacons that we've looked at recently with Blast Charge and Scavenger there. And uh, yeah, you know, he's another basic class one. He's, so he's a little bit smaller than Blast Charge, obviously, but I think they all look pretty good together. Now to get onto Transformation, he's got some fun stuff going on. Uh, you want to take this whole section with the spoiler and it kind of just unfolds like this. These will actually become the arms in robot mode. Uh, and then you want to take this entire front section and it kind of clips in right here and right here so you just want to loosen that up from both sides and then bring it up on this uh on this hinge here um and then take these sections which will be the legs and unpeg them from the body and then unfold them like this and then rotate them forward just like that and then the uh, the feet here will actually untab and again you know he's got kind of another wheel feet thing going on where at least the the wheels are in his feet and then they double hinge up like this now i'm not really sure which way this is supposed to be if these are supposed to be the toes or if you're supposed to rotate it around and have these be the toes um because like I, you know in terms of like you know you'd think that the toes would be bigger than the heels but it kind of makes it sit a little bit offset this way so it's got like a bit too much material on the inside and also these look kind of dumpy as toes so i usually leave it this way but i'm not really sure which way it's totally like officially supposed to go because you wouldn't really need that rotation joint at all if you were just like double hinging them down like that so i i don't know but uh, then you rotate the whole thing around at the waist we can take the arms separate them and bring them down to the side here and then just rotate them so that they're uh, facing forward like this I guess shoulder detail not elbow detail whatever uh, and then take this section of mine's got a little <laughs> it's kind of cracked here I, I could fix that at some point just with some super glue but I, I just haven't prioritized it I should do that at some point just you know so the, the other side doesn't break but it, it kind of mostly functions the same anyway but you want to bring it up like that and then take the entire uh, back section here and just fold it onto the back oh by the way there is is a Viacon spark crystal in there um, and uh, yeah, if you had the gun piece, which I don't, you'd flip it up onto his head to become like a little uh, little head gun. But yeah, there we have Mirage in his robot mode. And yeah, I like the I like the robot mode for this guy. It's definitely a neat little transformation. I like how the like spoiler unfolds into the arms like that. I like how the wheels become the feet. Um, it's definitely a little bit weird looking, but that's definitely not out of place for the uh, the Viacons in the Beast Machines toy line. You can see what his uh, his head sculpt there looks like you gotta you know you kind of can bring it down like this so it sits more on the body but then it's kind of perpetually looking down or you can bring it up so it's actually you know like on the hinge and looking forward but then it sits a little weirdly high so i usually try to i don't know go a little bit in between um but yeah in terms of articulation you know the head can kind of do that and it also is on a ball joint so it can rotate around uh the shoulders i mean right here where it connects to the body you could bring them up there but they also i 
pretty sure you're supposed to be using this joint as the shoulder joint. So it's just on ball joints there and then ball joints at the elbow, which gets about, you know, 90 degrees of elbow bend. And then obviously a bicep swivel. Uh, he does have a waist joint. It does bump into the backpack here a little bit, but it mostly stays out of the way. Uh, the hips are on ball joints, so they can go forward and back before they run into that and only about that far out to the side. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel just because his knees are on ball joints, which can get you know a little over 90 degrees of bend, but they are like super duper high on the leg. Like that's his thigh and that's his lower leg. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he looks like particularly good with his knees bent most of the time, but he does technically have knees. Uh, and then the feet, like I said, can rotate. And then because of that double hinge section, you can kind of you know like extend it out and then have, give him a forward ankle tilt and a uh, and a backward angle tilt but no side angle tilt which is you know pretty good for a figure of this time anyway um but yeah in terms of uh comparisons in this mode for the standard one here he is again with kingdom side swipe just so you can see what it looks like with an average size deluxe there uh here he is again with classics mirage just so you can see what he looks like with a, uh, a different version of a mostly similar character i don't think they're supposed to be the same character but you, you know whatever <laughs> <laughs> and here he is again with uh, with Scavenger and Blast Charge. So yeah, you know, pretty average uh, little uh, basic class figure there. And uh, yeah, he's, I like Scavenger better of the uh, the basic class Viacon like non show characters. Um, the other one that I don't have, I, I think his name is uh, Spy Streak. That one always looked a little bit basic to me. I'll probably pick it up eventually at some point just to kind of like round out the non-show non-show character via cons but either way you know it, it's fine I'm, I'm content with what i've got now but uh yeah that's uh, pretty much all there is to him he's a, a neat little figure i'd say that you know my biggest complaint with him is really just like where his knees are arranged but other than that i, I like him i may be a little bit biased because there are some sort of like objectively weird things about his proportions like you know how technically his shoulders are here which means that these are maybe part of his body and jut out way to the side but I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, I've just had this toy since I was a kid. So that even though if like I, I got a figure now that had that, I would be like, oh, that's weird looking. But like, it, it's just been part of my sort of like, you know, understanding of Transformers for such a long time that it's like never bothered me at all. And, you know, I don't really mind since the Viacons are a little weird anyway. But yeah, no, he's a pretty cool little figure. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. That's toys.n.art on Instagram. And without further ado, here we have Transformers Beast Machines Basic Class Mirage.